Hello, I'm Greg Anderson. And I'm Elizabeth Joy Rowe. Together, we're the Anderson and Rowe Piano Duo, and we're so excited to share with you this broadcast of our 2019 Tippet Rise Art Center performance. This recital was certainly one of the greatest highlights of 2019 for us, but we would argue that it was one of the highlights of our entire decade, and especially being in our current state where we have been separated from each other since March 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We've been in quarantine, we've been in isolation, revisiting this powerful and joyful concert just fills us with so much exhilaration. It was one of those electrifying experiences where we could feel this visceral connection to everyone in the room. And we felt um, just so blessed to be there in that moment. Yeah, it really was something so special. And it, it kind of like, it makes me reflect on how separated we have been from people for so long. Um, and in particular, this music video that we released not long after the pandemic began, our Hallelujah Variations music video, which we'll perform on this broadcast. Uh, but that piece now has taken on a whole new meaning for us because it seems to represent this, this world we live in where there's like a constant struggle. Uh, and we actually filmed that, that video uh, at Tippet Rise just the days bef before this performance. We invite you to check that out. Um, speaking of music videos, we're gonna share with you one of our music videos we filmed at Tippet Rise, It's a Wonderful World, uh, during a previous season, uh, during the intermission of today's performance. And this is actually one of our favorite music videos to film that video at Tippet Rise was glorious because um, you know, you're just in the middle of all of this beauty and majesty and Despite all the complexity in the world around us, places like Tippet Rise and the people that come there, it just reminds us of the inspiration and the uplift that one can experience when, uh, when one is exposed to the greatness of music combined with nature, combined with human generosity. And so it is a pleasure and a privilege that uh, Tippet Rise has invited us to film and perform there, and we hope to come back sometime soon. Fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> Take care, stay safe, and enjoy the show.
you. Welcome to the second half of our program, which is centered on the theme of dance and dances. That's why we've got our dancing frock on. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll open with a set of tangos. Now, tango is one of the most tantalizing dances out there. And in creating these takes on Astor Piazzolla's tangos, we were inspired literally by tango dancing, by the moves and choreography of tango dancers, and also of the intriguing sounds of a tango band. We're also, so yeah, you, you can actually watch as we play. We are literally with our four hands trying to recreate dance steps. Um, so it's like we've, we've taken the, 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 the four feet on the dance floor and put four hands on the keyboard. Uh, we're also inspired by the spirit of the tango. So that, that includes those like the racing heartbeats and the charged chemistry between the dancers, a little physical friction. Uh, and... <laughs> elements of the forbidden and elements of danger, um, both emotional danger and physical danger. When you watch tango dancers, their feet move in very quick, intricate patterns, and there's no room for error. If you put your foot in the wrong spot, the, your, your dance partner is likely to fall over. Similarly, in these arrangements, if we put our fingers in the wrong spot, um, we've many a time ripped each other's knuckles off, bloodied the keys, um, and in one instance, I elbowed Liz square in the eye, and we had to ice it, and it was during intermission. It was all very bad. So, um, drama. drama, and in the end, just, they're a lot of fun, and wish us luck. Yeah, so a quick, a quick summary of the three tangos. We'll play them in succession. The first is called Primavera Porteña, which means spring season. Incidentally, down in Argentina, it's, it's almost spring. And this one is a bold uh, tango that captures the energy of springtime. The second is Oblivion, which is mysterious. It, it evokes the smoky atmosphere of a tango dance hall in Buenos Aires. And finally, we will close with the sassiest tango of them all, Liber Tango. So, let's go.
Up next, we have another dance. Uh, this one's from a couple hundred years earlier, uh, composed by Gluck uh, from his opera Orpheus and Eurydice. And um, it is, it's, it's subtitled The Dance of the Blessed Spirits and is really just one of our favorite melodies of all time. It is gorgeous. And in arranging this piece for four hands at one piano, we wanted to evoke the expanse and the mystery of um, the underworld and also the beauty and ultimate tragedy um, of the ill-fated love story between Orpheus and Eurydice. But it truly is its just a beautiful melody and very intimate.
before introducing our grand finale, we wanted to mention we look forward to meeting all of you after the concert. We'll be in the lobby, happy to say hello, sign things, shake your hands. We feel like it's been a party <laughs> the whole night, and we just want that to continue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Season finale vibes. Uh, we're going to move from one ill-fated love to another. Yay! We swear it's celebratory, though. This is our take on Leonard Bernstein's beloved West Side Story. And West Side Story is essentially a modern retelling of the Romeo and Juliet story, hence the tragedy. Uh, but we love this musical, we love the film, and we love... Um, the, the, the story because it features all of the drama, the theatrical qualities, the, the dancing, the romance, and the heartbreak that you should expect from Lenny and, and I guess, Willie. Yeah. <laughs> and us, and us. <laughs> Sorry, Shakespeare. Um, so we have four movements to perform for you. Um, and in all four of these, we're trying to almost physically reenact uh, these stories. So uh, in the Mambo, there's the, the opposing rival gangs kind of fighting each other through dance moves. We will similarly try and battle it out in Mambo. Then you'll hear the throbbing heartbeats of Tony and Maria's love it's in Tonight, as well as the intimacy of their love in Somewhere. And finally, in America, uh, in the original, there's a lot of uh, lyrics and dance uh, that, that kind of uh, give a sense of one-upmanship. The women are tr and the men are trying to one-up each other through their impressive dance moves and through the kind of the complexity and interest of their lyrics. So Liz and I have taken it upon ourselves to one-up each other through pianistic pyrotechnics um, <laughs> in the arrangement. Yeah, and also I'm going to try to pull off my best Rita Moreno. So, shout out. She's a legend, I love her. She said a high bar. But before we begin, we're actually going to do a little exercise with y'all. We're going to have you interactively take part in the mambo, which opens the piece. So, what happens in the original is that, uh, you know, the, the tune happens and then everyone shouts mambo. And when Greg and I do it alone, it's kind of lame. So that's why it's going to be a group activity. So let's practice. Greg is going to play the tune. And then the two of us are going to demonstrate kind of where, oh, we're going to clap our hands. The two of us will clap our hands. Yeah. And you all shout mambo. mambo. Yeah, but right. all right. So let's, let's practice it. Mambo! That was fairly good. No. Oh. All right, just give it your all. It's take two. Oh! It's, it's better, but you, you know what they teach musicians? You, you go into performance mode and you give it your all. So in context of the performance, we want you to blow the rafters off of the barn, the music barn, and make sure all of Montana knows the fun they're missing out on. Uh, yeah, yeah, make sure, exactly. So with that, have a lot of fun. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 